Hi, this is Natasha Tracy from Breaking Bipolar here at HealthyPlace.com. So today I'm talking about getting tripped up by the little things in life. So I talked about taking a shower and opening mail. So I want to talk a little bit about how you might be a bit more successful when you're trying to do something like open mail, for example. I think there are three tips. The first one is to try and do a little bit every day. So for example, if you don't open your mail for a week, then you have a huge stack of it. And then it seems even more overwhelming than it did when you only had one piece of mail to open. So if you can set aside some time every day to do those small things that you really don't like doing, like maybe opening mail, you might be able to chip away at the work so that it doesn't seem so overwhelming. And I'm a big fan of schedules. So for me, I don't like sweeping the floor. So I have a set time every day when I know that's the time I'm going to sweep the floor. That works for me. And then tip number two is to chunk things down into manageable steps if you can. So like I said, if you have a huge stack of mail, that's really tough to deal with. But what you can do is you can open one envelope. One envelope, just one. Open the easiest one. Maybe take a piece of junk mail and throw it away. Do something that is small, that is easy, that you can achieve, so that you can feel better about that achievement and you can build on it. So that tomorrow, maybe you can open a different piece of mail. Tip number three, if you get to the place where you've had a bad day, things aren't going very well for you, and you just can't do the little things, you can't get yourself out of bed, you can't get yourself dressed, you can't get yourself a shower, you can't open the mail. If you get to that place, you need to give yourself a break. We all get to the place where we're too sick to do things. That's because we're sick. That's because we have a mental illness. There's nothing to beat yourself up about here. This is just a reality of the disease. So tip number three, show yourself some kindness. You deserve it. The world is a tough place. You should be kind to yourself. I'm Natasha Tracy, and this is Breaking Bipolar.